So day two of uh, working on all of our Jeeps. Gonna be loading up all that stuff into the goddamn Jeep. Pretty excited about it, so stay tuned uh, to see what we do to it, folks. Come on. So, we got the Jeep on the lift. We got some of the shocks off. It is done seized. We got the rear springs off. Steve is being the bitch. Fuck you. Hey, fuck you. But no, yeah. It's uh, how my steering stabilizers held on. There's the new one over there on the table. We're getting new springs, new shocks. It's gonna be a good time. We're your fucking track bar there from Steer Smarts, aka Spring. It's gonna be good, man. So we got the Hawk shocks in. Look at that goo front there. Cheers. My face is so I ate a chicken, uh, a boneless chicken wing off of John's dirty uh, wine thingy. <laughs> it was delicious. It tasted both like chicken and rubber. So the next thing we're going to be putting on is the stainless steel brake lines and then the track bar from Steer Smarts from the rear. Cause that rear one is trash, so. So here you can see John is putting his track bar on. That's the old piece of crap. It's old, busted, it's kind of rusty. And that bush in there, now there's, there's, them putting on his new, his new track bar. Needs to be, real push yeah. Travis is getting the bolt, John's doing stuff and things. He might be in far enough. No, let me see. Going. Smacking it. Smacking it, cracking it. I'm gonna get in there. Turn that. Look at that. Look at that, folks. Look at that. Look at those hands working. Master Ooh. craftsman right here. We're like almost fucking there. Hold on. Use that mallet. You need to twist it once. Like a couple more times. That twist it like the wicked twister. It's real wicked. And a twister. I know they tore it down. That's bullcrap. Bullcrap. Yeah. Oh, fuck me. Oh, oh. Well, folks, oh. they got it. Fuck me. Travis is beating off John's Jeep. It's yeah. really taking Move me. some. Jeep is being a fucking slut! Fuck these brake pads, man. I really hate looking at them so much. These ones Damn, that fucker's stubborn. Probably never been changed at all. Junk? Truth. Oh, it's true. Well, we've got about 20% left on John's battery here, so we're gonna go ahead and But the Jeep's in the air. It's fine. No problem. It's not fine. <laughs> Loud noises. Uh oh. The Scadios. So we got the actual front axle shafts pulled out. They came out really nice. Um, there's the gears over there, pretty pumped. 
came out nice as well too. But we had a comeuppance with the rear driver and that kind of sucks. So, as you can see, Uncle Travi, mainly Uncle Travi and a little bit of me, beat the fuck out of it. The other one came out fine. There's the rear passenger. Hey, John, why don't you show them how you're, you're, you're your 100% in place e brakes? So, this motherfucker would not come out on the plate. We had to, I beat the fuck out of that because it was already fucked. I bent that, but bent it back. And then, this supposed to have e brakes, doesn't have fucking e brakes. Whatever. Are we ever gonna stop this bitch? No. <laughs> Call Matt's Off-Road, they can give you a hand. Yeah, Matt's Off-Road, thanks. Appreciate it. <laughs> Best off-road service in America right there. But we ordered a new one, so it should be good. Tracy, what did we do today, buddy? Is this thing on? Yeah, it's on. Oh. What did we do today, Steve? Uh, we Well, <clears throat> John's brake calipers were shot, uh, as were the rotors and the pads. Mm -hmm. So we replaced all of those. His, his, uh, uh, what the hell is another thing that the, the clampet valve was, was shot. So we replaced that. Honestly, he's, he's right now he owes our buddy Travis about eighteen hundred dollars in uh, just labor hey, um, parts. I, I mean, I'd never seen a caliper that was so compressed and rusty like those were. No, we did spring shocks and a track bar. That's what we did. Yeah. And the clamp it valve. Don't forget that. The clamp it, that's, that's critical. We rotated the air in the tires too. Yep. <laughs> we we winter put, air in there. We, we topped off your No, we got the winter air out. We put in spring air. Uh, <laughs> we uh, topped off the blinker fluid. Uh, drained all the brake fluid. That was way too full. Uh, we, we had to pee a little bit, so we, we filled the radiator. Dude, Jeep's sitting stout, though. Let's talk about that. Jeep's sitting stout. But yeah, you got all your shit out of it. <laughs> <laughs> so hey guys, I just got off work and uh, we're going to be uh, installing the new 456 Yukon gears into the hog tonight and it's going to be a good time boys, it's going to be a good time, alright. But no, it's a great day out, uh, it's nice, it's about 50 degrees, so that means today is going to be a good day guys, so just kind of update you about what we did to the Jeep. Um, I'm still waiting on my front track bar from Steer Smarts. We added a three and a half inch lift on it. Basically took out the old three inch and which isn't a bad thing but uh, and then I did the rear track bar and we're doing brake lines tonight and then we're also doing power steering pump, pump as well as the gears. So it's going to be all in all a good fucking day to get some stuff done and I'm really excited for it. Uh, I think my buddy Bill, shit, my buddy Bill is going to be taking me home tomorrow to be honest with you. But uh, yeah, we'll see what we can do tonight and uh, I'll see you then guys. I got my head out this So, uh, Travis is fucking me again. What do we got going on, boss? Well, he might be within tolerances. The carrier brake to do 456 gears, it varies by ratio. So if he's got too small of a ratio, he's got to do a different carrier for them gears. And we're looking the specs up now for the carrier brake. Oh, well, you're well, you are. I'm not, because I don't know. <laughs> So anyways, I'll show you what he's talking about. I do know what he's talking about. So, after Steve's done violating stuff in there and storing some brake lane, what he's talking about is this carrier right here, and that's all I know. <laughs> but, uh, we're learning. But I guess what he, pretty much what he means is that, uh, is the gear too big for it then? Too small. It falls out. Really? Yeah. 
it's the spacing for the pinion. Oh, okay. So they okay. won't hold, they won't yeah. hold in here. So it's, okay. it's got to be narrow yeah. in order to hold yeah. it. All right. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Makes sense. But yeah, so update on the rear. We are going to buy a new one of these. New axle shafts. Just junk. New fucking shocks look fucking tits, though. The springs look tits, but, uh... Thanks for fucking me, Uncle Travi. Hey, John, those look like man tits. Huh? Like man tits? Is that what's going on? Man cans. Uh, like man boobs? Boobs? Man cans. Boobies? <laughs> uh, go fuck myself. Like, as a young adult, I watched my cats turn into boobs. It was depressing. It was just sad. I like how mine went from moves to like, mine are moved half pecs right now. I know, but it was sad. It's not depressing. I, I, I know the other very Dorito shape, and now I'm like, what? You're what? All the other body strength and like, very like, smaller, lower. I was Dorito. Now I'm a bloop. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Oh, fuck me. This is bloop. <laughs> but, um,. Front track bar is coming in next week, week after. Uh, so, yeah. Just fuck me. This whole Moab build's fucking shit. <laughs> it's kind of shit. So the carrier's garbage, and we got a new one that uh, Uncle Travi is installing right now, and it's pretty cool. Let's, uh, let's go see what he's got going on here. What you got going on, Travis? Oh, I'm just here fucking your Jeep. All to hell. <laughs> again. You need to get <laughs> or is it like every other month now, pretty much? It's getting more and more every day. <laughs> Every day we're slowly closer to killing ourselves. <laughs> so we got the new blacking plates in um, as we needed them because the guy who had it before me took out the e-brakes and then we beat the piss out of the other side. So point given, uh, don't do that, but it's fine. It's all good. So as you see, uh, Travis doesn't really know what he's oh, doing. Fuck. And, hey, uh, there's a bonus gym. Oh, is it really? We might got lucky. That might be the one I needed. Oh yeah? So I what are you it. exactly doing? I am systematically picking the right shim to go in the right spot or fucking everything up. <laughs> <laughs> I just think we need to buy a new Jeep. It'd be a good start. At, <laughs> at this point, for God's sakes. You know, you're halfway there. You know, uh, more. literally all the guys at work were like, probably should have just bought a new one. Honestly, I mean, with, with, with all the money invested, with all the money we put into this thing, probably should have gotten a new one. You and I could like, have bought two of them. Shut your mouth. Yeah, I didn't spend a hundred thousand dollars on that thing. I didn't say what kind of Jeep. <laughs> but yeah, you could have bought two Jeeps for the price. I could have, I could have bought them three, depending <laughs> on which ones <laughs> they were in the, in the quality. <laughs> It's all fun and games until you until you die, right? I reckon so. Yeah, I guess. But then all problems are over, so who knows? <laughs> I just think this is cool. It's a little tight. So what does that mean, Travis? It means we gotta do more shim work. Really? Yeah. Preload's right. Backlash is too tight. So what would that do? That'll bring your gear pattern closer or further away. Really? Yep, right now it's too too tight. 
Mm. Yep. Damn. <laughs> Almost run into a snare. I don't know if you can see it, but there's smoke coming out of the diff right now. It came out of John's face because he's over here fucking there's Smoke off. coming out of this. He's over here fucking off. <laughs> hey, Steve joined the party. Uh, Steve, how was your day? It was good. It's good. It's good. Day. It's a good day. What the hell is wrong with this shit? So, buddy, um, got to talk to you real quick, okay? Sure. We got to work on our cussing. Why? I don't know. Who said we have to work on cussing? YouTube guidelines. Not if we flag the videos for a dog. Oh, yeah, true, 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 true. Fair enough, fair enough. Okay, another snag. Buy it? Did you use all the, did you use all the yellow paint out of the other one? What? For Travis. It's welcome. <laughs> We finally got the rear axle, then Travis is getting that done. The gear pattern, Travis said to hell with it, so <laughs> we're gonna drive it to Utah like that. That's fine. I thought it looked pretty good, but I'm no it's mechanic. It's a little off, but it's questionable. <laughs> oh, thanks. Thanks for giving me the confidence. And the You're welcome, John. <laughs> John. Somebody's gotta do it. Someone has to put your uh, ego in check, John. <laughs> what ego? <laughs> It'll probably be fine. It probably will be, maybe. Don't walk. So good news is that we're almost done with the Jeep and I got all the trash from everything that we put on it. Um, it definitely came here with a lot more boxes. It definitely came here with a lot less boxes and added a lot more boxes because we were figure in that you know i didn't need to replace anything else but it came into fruition that i need to replace a lot more so in turn we got a lot of that and um we got some uh hello sir you know cool stickers of it oh why'd why you stop me sir i stopped you today why, why is that oh uh, you don't have no tires on this, <laughs> on this vehicle no i'm not sure how you're driving but uh it's pretty reckless you know, I personally like to think of this as my new uh, plow chisel. You know what I mean? My mm. new chisel plow. Chisel mm. plow, damn it! Mm. So, uh, you're gonna put some tires on this Jeep meow? Meow? Meow. <laughs> what do you think I am? Some sort no, of cat? No, no, you think no. I jump around nimbly, nimbly? I lick milk from a salsa? <laughs> well, John, uh -oh. this side here is not tight at all. Mmm. So I, I like it. So the Jeep's fucking fixed finally, and I'm really excited about it. We just put, we just finished putting on uh, the last component, which was a brake caliper, and of course, I mean, what are you doing? <laughs> anyway, so the brakes, the Jeep's finally done. And we're gonna kind of see how it drives. I haven't gotten it up past uh, 60 yet, so we're gonna do that real quick. Put my seatbelt on. Um, so anyways, what was wrong with the Jeep, why I didn't get it done last night, because we finally, after getting the limited slip, and after we found out the carrier was messed up, uh, we found out that my caliper on the passenger side was also messed up as well too. Jesus, it pulls. Well, that's the wind. But anyways, um, found out the caliper was messed up, so we just finished putting on that this morning, and I have brakes. Jeep drives freaking great. We have the 456 gears, Yukon gears in it, and it's absolutely a completely different rig. Like, I'm not lying about that. It's completely freaking different. It's, yep, got brakes. That's good. But yeah, no, it's, it's driving. We are ready for Moab. Uh, really excited about it because I was a little worried because if that carrier didn't come in last night I was gonna shit because uh, yeah so I look like a homeless man as well too uh, there's a lot of boxes in here this is all the parts we put on a lot of new parts uh, as you guys can see we did we re-geared it new rear carrier backing plates uh, brakes suspension springs and shocks front and rear track bar we also got front and rear diff armor as well too it's a completely different rig handles completely different it's 
it's definitely an experience and I'm very thankful for all my friends who helped out and it's awesome so let's see how she drives guys come on Home. I just unloaded all the garbage too. Got some fancy stickers that I found. Almost threw those away. Can't throw away the stickers, guys. But anyways, the Jeep runs really freaking well. I'm really excited about it. Um, some other upgrades that we are doing here in like the next week or two. Uh, we're doing a front track bar from Steer Smarts that just came in today. I wish it would have came in yesterday because that's when we did the limited slip rear end um, and got that all buttoned up, but it runs really good. Uh, people are like, oh, your gas mileage is going to go down with the 456 gearing. Actually, it went up a lot, and I was like, awesome, dude. That's freaking sick. But the Jeep's almost ready for Moab, guys. I have a little bit of a death wobble because uh, the, <laughs> the track bar is a little shot. But other than that, it's really good. I'm really happy for it. Uh, that it's come such a far away. A lot of people told me to give up on it, but I didn't. Uh, really excited that I kept it around. The woodsman's come a far away, and I'm about ready to show up people in my club. <laughs> like, be like, oh, it's not a piece of hot garbage anymore. It's out of the lift. It's actually fixed. And I'm really excited for that. But anyways, guys, make sure to like, share, and follow. Always subscribe, and remember to hit the bell at the bottom so you get notifications when uh, our new videos are being posted. We're going to try putting out more content. Right now, we haven't been doing any wheeling because all of our rigs have been down. We're getting ready for Moab and stuff like that. So please like, share, and follow. Um, go follow our other accounts. I will be posting those on our YouTube page. Uh, Woodsman JKU, Blue Devil Jeep, Between Two Jeeps on Facebook, uh, Jonathan Wolf, Steve Cooper, it doesn't matter. Um, and our TikToks as well too, uh, Blue Devil Jeep and uh, Woodsman JKU. We love the support guys, thank you so much, and catch you on our next episode guys. <laughs> Have a good one! <laughs>